Alpha Nerd Entertainment. What's going on, guys? Let's play some Tasmania. Once, long ago, Tasmania was ruled by giant prehistoric seabirds. They were so big that one of their giant eggs could feed our family and ancestors for a whole year. I'm calling bullshit. Eggs, cool, arf, wow. There are even legends that there's a lost valley that giant birds still live, eggs and all. But that's only a legend. Arf. Rags! Alright, cool. So, I did some little commentary there. Read it over the top. Welcome to my No Death Run of Tasmania for the Sega Genesis. Very misunderstood game. I understand that a lot of people first pick this game up and, well, get destroyed. So if Taz is hard, does that mean it's a bad game? Honestly, I'm inclined to say its controls are kind of good. Should we do the whole GamePro Magazine review thing? Like we always do, and been doing for over a year? If you see other people doing it, you know where they copied it. So let's just do it. It's controls. Everyone says they're janky. Everyone says they're stiff. And they are a little stiff. They are a little janky. But every game feels a little different. And honestly, in my personal opinion, and I've seen some other good gamers get good at this game, ah, its controls bad. are not bad. In fact, I consider them very good. But I do have to consider it on how it feels for a first time playing. But honestly, I can't give them less than a 4. Okay, I'll give them a 3.5. I understand that they can feel a little bit frustrating and the game is definitely flawed. But we'll give it a 3.5 out of 5 for controls. Its graphics, on the other hand, are really nice. The sprites are really nice. Really big, really colorful. Taz in particular looks fantastic. I think it's a safe bet to say that the graphics are a 4 out of 5. Before we get to the fun factor, let's talk about the sound. <laughs> its sound is lacking big time. Just listen to it. <laughs> it's, its sound effects are okay. Some of the sound effects are actually quite funny and likable. But the problem is this game has no fucking music. Like, is this a song? Am I supposed to take this as a song? There is one song in this game I like. And it's about the only song the game really has. So much so that they use it for the end credits. Kind of makes me wonder if this game was rushed. And they're like, whoa, we're done. But we're not done with the music. And they're like, we don't care, just get it out. They're like, you have the rest of the weekend to get it done. And they just didn't have music. So the music is lacking. Because of the sound effects are pretty good. And there is one song that's pretty engaging. I can't give it better than a 1.5 out of 5 for sound. It's fun factor. This is difficult for me to score. I really like this game. I found a lot of fun with this game. I grew up with it. So getting good was a process that I did when I was younger. I see how everyone reacts when they first play this game and they don't seem to be having any fun. Again, the game is not easy. Though, like any game, the more time you put into it, the more practice you do, you'll start to understand that it is pretty easy. For me, I find this game very fun and I'd have absolutely no problem giving it a 4 out of 5, but I've seen some recent YouTubers play and lose their mind out of frustration and just not have any fun whatsoever. But it doesn't hold your hand per se, and it's not the kind of game you beat your first try. And because of that, you can't fault the game. But it's fun factor, I think it's only fair that I give it no better than a 3.5 out of 5. I like this level. It's bright. It's annoying. I like when Taz falls in the water. You can press the A button, or actually the B button, to spin out of the ice. I guess I don't get frozen. Let's see, let's see if I get... Oh, there I go, I got frozen. Anyways, I don't know. This game's pretty cool. It's got its it, it's fair too. The game is littered with free men. Littered with continues. The continue is a box with a picture of Taz and has a number three. The three actually represents three men. Because that's what a continue is worth. Continue is worth three men. As I fall down here to a secret. There's a free man. There's a continue. That's a total of four men. You can kill yourself right now and do that all over again. Rinse and repeat, stack up continues, stack up lives, 
and you're going to get through Taz. The game is definitely flawed, to say the least, but not in its controls. I think where it's flawed more is in its lack of music and its blind jumps. It definitely has a lot of blind jumps, as I display right here. I do do this knowingly because I could drop down and do a smaller jump, but I know that Taz's vertical can clear the distance like I do here. You can see the little bush rat below me, so I could shorten the distance of that jump, but regardless, this game still leaves a lot of blind jumps. And this level in particular gives lots of people a very hard time the first couple runs. It's a really hard level coming up soon. Yeah, I got no music to dance or jive to. We will soon though, and there is one song I quite like. This level is... This is a good level design, honestly. This is one of the better levels. It's frustrating when you fall, but just because a game has frustrating parts doesn't mean it's bad. I will say that this game is very misunderstood, and I really don't think it's remotely near as bad as people make it out to be. Um, I just, I can't see all the hate for this game. Like, I'm telling you, I see people play way, way, way worse games. Way worse games. And I don't know if it's because people just don't win right away, or they die quickly, that they just kind of write this game off. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I have a lot of nostalgia blinding me. I think if you're a fan of Taz and the show Tasmania, this game will appeal to you more than anybody else. As we do our little boss fight there with the little tribal person. Alright, it's go time. It's not go time yet. Uh, I like the sound effects, but yeah, again, that's all you really have to work with. I do like all the backgrounds too. Like you look at the trees in the distance of the jungle and the forest. It's got some nice layering, and some later levels use a really nice effect. So, like I said, I could give the graphics a 4.5 out of 5. Again, I'll stick with 4 because, you know, it's not too textured, it's not too polished, there isn't a lot of shadowing. But I just, for the life of me, I can't figure out why people hate this game so much. Okay, now, now it's go time for real. I'm going to let Gaming Steve talk us through this part. This is very difficult. I want to quickly mention that pressing forward makes down. the cart go faster. Holding back double makes the up. cart go slower. Down. Super fast till a double downhill after two jumps. Second jump complete. Downhill, slow it down. Do your work. This is really hard. And unfair. Slow. It does Slow give down. indicators with the lights right there. Hard part fast. That part's brutal. Slow it down. Beginner traps the whole level. One more work, cook it. Like I said, there are the lights that indicate to go fast. Okay, two more hard or go levels slow, go. as I mentioned, there are two more hard levels to get through. Right here in the middle of the game is the real difficulty in getting the no death run, in my opinion. Um, this is the good song. <laughs> it's a pretty terrible song, but I like it. It's bad. Uh, that doesn't seem like the right Like, way. if this is the best song the game has to offer, again, its music is well deserved of uh, the 1.5 score that I gave it. Yeah, it must be. I'm having a brain fart because I'm nervous. Okay, Pretty no, tough level, too. A lot of insta deaths with jumps in certain areas. Uh, so you got to be really careful and a lot of trial and error. But, like, it's not the only game that does trial and error. You know, it's not the only game where you have to memorize things. So it's like when I see people complain about certain games because they've never played it before, they're like, oh, that's stupid, or how am I supposed to know oh, that? Shit. That could apply to almost every game ever made. You know, it's just... <laughs> I, I just, I can't understand the hate that this game receives. Um... I don't know, like I did a recent challenge obviously, and this No Death Run will be up before the challenge is posted. And I saw some people issue me runs 
where they got really good. And I know those people will tell you that the controls are actually very good. Because they are. It's just... Okay, here, like, look how... This is difficult. This is a death spot. You gotta know what time to jump. As that cage swings in... Here, you gotta do it right at the top. And I was a little bit short. I, I almost died there. You just gotta know when to take off. And sometimes knowing when to jump results in dying. As these cages fall... Got to know when to hop so you don't do it too late and fall to your death. I don't know. I'll always, always campaign that Taz is a good game. Not a good game. An okay game. Don't get it twisted. This is this is no good game. But it's not bad. Like, Wayne's World is a bad game. Uh, Toxic Crusader is a bad game. Uh a lot of bad games, man. Like, Green Dog is considered a bad game. And it kind of is, and it's not. Green Dog is like the same category as this. They're both okay. But I would say this is even better than Green Dog. They're both just average, very average down the middle games. Across the board, a 3 out of 5. Very mediocre stuff. But, mediocre isn't terrible. Like, Fuck that up. There's, there's a lot of pretty lackluster games. This part's tricky anyways. Almost there. This part's tricky and annoying. Just, oh, you'll man. never die though. It's just a matter of going up and down, jumping at the right times. Some tricky jumping here. Let's go. Okay, difficult Let's level go. two done. That and the minecart level are game. very tough. This level here, also tough, but I have a strategy. I get through the first part, doing it properly, taking my time, not going all over the place, and then when I get to the next checkpoint, eat a turkey, then I just go balls to the wall, spinning and jumping. It's like a boost damage thing that I discovered as a kid. Um, it was really nice to play this, by the way, taking my time. Like, I do it in good time, obviously, but when I was practicing the first eight levels for the speedrun challenge, man, I hit reset a lot of times. And I had to get really, really good at those levels. So it was really cool to kind of just take it easy. And just get the no death run. And it, I, I know it, some people might not want to hear it, but speed running is harder than no death runs. It, they they are. Um, if this was a speed run, I would have had to reset many many times. But because it's not, and it's just a no death run, the errors are less, and I'm still alive, still going, staying strong. I prefer no death runs because I don't want to feel pushed to the limit all the time. But I have a lot of respect for speedrunning. It is definitely a, a whole other ball game. And I want to say what I've enjoyed about practicing speedrunning with some games is it's up my game skill. It really has improved me as a gamer. And I think it's going to make me a better no death runner as well. Because when it comes to no death running, I have that freedom of taking my time. Something I do enjoy. Get a good look but, at him there. Man, got my Big respect for speedrunning. Come on. Suck. You suck. The bosses suck in this game. They're all very easy. The end boss is slightly harder uh, than the rest of them, but you know, it's just very, very easy bosses. Love the background here. Let's get that bat. It's hard to see. You can see its beady little eyes. Can't quite appreciate it just oh, really? yet. It gets me every time. When I get out in the open. All right, let's wait for this bat. Boom. Yeah, you'll see. Force of habit. Gaming, Steve, shut up. This is why I'm here. I'm here to do the commentary, Gaming, Steve. Here, yeah, so as we get outside, you can appreciate the islands and the water and the different layers of the mountains in the background. I think it looks really nice. Like, is the detail high? No, the detail's pretty minimal, but... There. It, it looks great. Like, I really do like the way it looks. I've got the bat. 
I'm kind of talking about if you hear the bats or see the bats coming, stay still and spin in one spot and just be patient. Oh, fucking dirty bat. Like so. And it'll, it'll come around. Oop. Easy way to avoid damage. Just let them come to you. Get hit there every time. And that's that. Yeah, I think we got about two more stages left. Yeah, I think two more stages. To do the no death run at Tasmania. The not terrible game. Oh shit. He's fast too. Oh, this is the stupid jumping part. Yeah, let's get this bad out of the way. You can see his beady eyes. There he goes, dead. These jumps are annoying. Very annoying. Got another bat coming. I can hear him. There he is. Yeah, these jumps are annoying. Very annoying. Super annoying jumps. Ah. So I guess, do I get any cred for no death running Taz? You know, no, because it sucks, right? Oh, Taz sucks, right? That's what people will say. But Taz is not an easy game. You take the time to get good at it, you're going to get through quite quite, quite easily. Come like on. any game. And spinning doesn't help, believe it's it or like not. It's like all games are easy when you know what to do. Spin will create a downward... But I feel like this should be considered These are a relatively problem, impressive no death run. It's like I've seen more than enough excellent gamers struggle to even get through the first few stages. Okay. There you want to spin. Just so get that th this, this, should, this should up my cred, right? You know? <laughs> do, 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 do I move up a tier? <laughs> Our community is pretty funny. Pretty lame, pretty stupid, pretty funny altogether. You got gamers you like, some that I could just tell you suck so bad their personalities their game skill I'm not gonna talk about the two or three but oh, you fucker. but you know I saw a video not long ago saying our retro gamers elitists and I, yeah we are we are elitists and uh, some are not as bad as others I can be pretty terrible in my own way I can admit to that uh, but I think all retro gamers have I a little chip on their shoulder that it's like we've been gaming since oh, the early like 80s. Down. Like I've been uh, gaming since 85. I don't entirely remember. Uh, and it's like, yeah, so it's like we, we yeah, just guess want our and respect for all the years we put in, all the games we played, all the games we beat through all the different generations. So yeah, retro gamers can be a little bit elitist. Um, that's a whole other topic. Wait, no, I think I've already been this way. <laughs> I'm dead serious. I'm a little bit lost right now. I don't know these later stages that well. Maybe not. Maybe not. The game is quite generous no, with its food. On normal difficulty, or whatever it is, um, it's, yeah, because it's practice, easy, and hard, so... You know, practice is basically easy, Might easy is basically back, normal, and hard is hard. So, but the game is very generous with uh, oh, yeah, food no. drops, if you will. Has a variety of them. There's a canteen of water, okay, big turkeys, okay. the fruit bowl. I always get a little confused on that level. And they're all over the place. Now, this level is like a mirror image of the second last level with a different ending. I hear a bat coming. Let's just get him. Ha. Well, it's very satisfying to just stay there and spin and kill the bats for some reason. Ha! I dodged it that time. Almost always get hit by that. Yeah, it's just like the level two, two levels ago. It's checkpoints but it does are quite generous as well. And yes, Taz Escape from Mars is probably a better game that I feel like they had more time to work on. Um... But I still kind of like this game more because I grew up with it. Like, I realized Taz from Escape from Mars is probably the better game. It's harder as well. Um, but they're not bad games. Like, it's just weird that I don't see anyone ever play these. Like, you know, like, this game isn't even on speedruns.com. And it's better than the Super Nintendo version. This, the Super Nintendo version is the lamest, most boring, 
useless game I've ever seen. Get the fruit. And this is not great, but it's way better than the Super Nintendo okay, version. So yeah, no, I went the wrong way. Just killed his back. Yeah, look at that beautiful background. I think we're on the last level here now. Okay, so we gotta go up. Again, I did love this show as a kid, so. Okay. Now we want to go. And I also loved Tab, be Taz before this. Every time. Game has its humor. Evil Taz. Who didn't love Taz growing there up? There's a firewall there, right? there that blows. Okay, there we go. So. Ah, right, cool. See you later, One more Taz. boss complete, moving on to the final level, guys. And I'm just going to say thanks for watching my No Death Run in Tasmania for the Sega Genesis. It's not as terrible as everyone says. I really enjoy it, and at the end of the day, I think that's all that matters. If I like it... I like that it has it, one of these rocks. And I have fun with it. Just because. 100,000 people can think it sucks. 100,000 gamers can say it blows. But if I have fun with it every time I pick it up, that's all that's really important at the end of the day. You know, I, I play the games I want to play, and I, I play them to have fun and challenge myself, and, you know, I enjoy it. So fuck all you guys. Till next time, keep it cool, keep it classy, and always retro game, and always play Tasmania for the Sega Genesis. And if you don't, well, I understand, because it's not perfect. Peace out. And that is game. Tasmania No Death Run Hype for the Sega Genesis. It's not a bad game. It's not a bad game. It's a good game. It's not a very good game, but I like it. <laughs> shitty ending to what is considered a shitty game. I fucking like it. I don't care what all you say. Tasmania for the Sega Genesis is a fun platform game. Flawed in a wide range of ways, but it is not a bad game. There are so many worse games I see so many people in the retro community playing. It is not bad. Taz is fun, and you all suck for not liking it. Thanks for watching my No Death Run to Tasmania for the Sega Genesis. Thanks for watching.